Okay, um, test route this yes. time. Obviously, you start from the test centre, and we're going to do a particularly fiendish. Yep. And is that the way that Martha went, actually? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is fortuitous. Because yes. you went out on the test, watched the new route. Told you. Down there, told me about it. After your student didn't do it very successfully. Yeah, mine failed. I told you about and it. Mine and passed. So there we go. And that's the thing about going out. Get, yeah. Let your exam and that, uh, instructor go out on test street if you can, because your test day experience is a whole lot better because mm. you've seen, you've you know. And we get to see your hopefully your last your last drive with us. Yeah. yeah. Or, and yeah. or your first independent drive. First independent drive. Yeah. Yeah. As well, and also uh, I get to mark it in the back, make sure I'm marking yeah, compatibly think, with exactly, the examiners. Yeah. And also, if you see a new test route, we always overmark, over don't we? <laughs> Usually, I tell them that. So, we're not going to do it as a mock test, we're just literally going to drive it and just Fair pick test. up the things that might cause you troubles along the way, even if it's not Kettering, could yeah, be similar could be situations anywhere, yeah. to anywhere in the UK. Yeah. So, this is a benefit to anyone. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Benefit someone's an AD, a PDI, or in the part three, seeing what I'm doing, looking over my shoulder yeah. when you're moving off as well. So, but also, as well, things like um, obviously, when I first came here, I was new to the area, and when I was training, it was helpful for me to watch to know what ways people went as well. Mm. I had no idea on any of the routes. Okay, so as we know. All of the tests will come to this roundabout, and this one first left at the roundabout. Oh, okay. Not to the Tesco roundabout. Okay, first left. Martha went first exit left, which I've never done before. No. When you got a roundabout like that, wouldn't you sort of test the people on it? Yes, but this, the end of the road here, mm. joining here could be quite challenging. Yeah. Now, it's quite a hill start you as well. wouldn't be given the direction if it was the non independent drive to turn left. No. Why is that? Can't go any other way. Can't go any other way, so you're not told to turn the left. The information is quite clear. Yep. Now, the trick there is to look nice and early, isn't it? Try and keep it rolling. Keep it looking yeah. rolly. So quite a nice start to the driving test coming this way, unless it's dust cart day, which oh, yeah. is bin collection day, which is, I can't remember which day it is. And it really backs up, doesn't it? So we're going to be turning left into Bryant Road, which is a relatively, as far as I'm aware, a new area. Yeah. This route, I'm doing exactly Martha's test route using okay. this route, so I'll direct you because uh, yeah, yeah. it surprised me where they went. Okay, yeah, you tell me. So, this is Bryant Road, and it's just so far, it's quite wide, and really it's just a matter of meeting and passing, working your way through. I suppose you could be asked to pull over the right hand side down this road yeah, at some you point, and you could be asked to do a parallel park if the traffic allows. But the thing is, don't be lulled into, this is a bit of a doddle. Do you want to talk me through the junction that yeah. can cause a couple of issues if you're not putting wits about you? They have repainted it. So the thing is here, if you've got if you're tunnel vision, you're looking straight down at the end of that road, you're looking straight past yeah. the giveaway sign and the giveaway markings here. Yeah. It's so important to scan. I'm just wondering what the oh oh because it'd be done on Is it done on sat nav at this point? Oh it may well be. Or did they start off with Did they start off with I mean I don't know. But yes. Before they painted that, even more trickier. Yeah. Nasty potholes down here. So we're just following the road round. So 
there's lots of information to take in at this point. Yeah. Right here. Now. So, so this is a give way we're entering, so we're entering to a new row, but yes. look what we've got here on the ground. We've got... So there's nothing on coming. No, so that's fine. But this next one here um, is a give way to yes. the so, garages on the right. The garage, yeah, it's really weird. It's quite bizarre. So, is that bus yielding um, to us? Yes, you look down there. Sure there's room for me. And the thing is, it's so easy to go, oh, the bus is waiting for me, and put your foot down in that situation mm -hmm. without looking to the right. So they're kind of waiting for you to slow down and get observation. If you go ploughing through, it's going to be a serious fault. And the meeting and passing on this road can be quite difficult yeah. sometimes as well. And again, look here, this is a junction turning in, so the priority is round there. It's quite strange. Especially with all the parked cars, because you're never on your side of the road, so... No. There's another factor to... Now this is the route I'm showing you was the 30 minute past 7 test okay. and it is really really quite a short route but everything gets tested in that time as long as, yeah. Yeah, as long as they've covered all the elements of moving in yeah. pulling in moving off and as long as they've done an incline start as long as they've done a restricted view start as long as you've done your parking manoeuvre and you've covered a variety of different road types, which this route does. Then all boxes it, ticked. All boxes ticked, exactly. And it's close to 30 minutes because take the next left. Fortunately, if the driving examiner gets back late from a test and there's no one else to take his space like the test manager, test centre manager, that next test gets cancelled. Mm. Which is a bit of a Going down here again, lots of potential people could be pulling out on us, and we're going to be taking the next left. Hawthorne Road. The end of the road. I don't think you'd be given the instruction to follow the road at the junction because you're just no. going to follow the road ahead. You have to spot it to give way, which is a bit slightly tougher because it's stuck behind a tree at the moment. Not the road markings. But the road though. markings there. Don't know what this yellow stuff has fallen out of all the trees. It's some sort of. It's quite weird. The other day at that junction, there was someone flying down on an e-scooter, and they were really hard to spot until yeah. the last minute. Don't go until you 100% know. Now, if you come down this way, uh, pull over on the left hand side where it's safe to do so. We might even be able to do a parallel park. It's quite common actually. Here, yeah. So. It's nice that they haven't. Okay, and then simply the instruction would be drive on when you're ready. This is um this will be on sat nav now until Gypsy Lane. Uh-huh. I'd like to get out of there as quickly as possible. Mm. Now if it's not on sat nav, you would not be given. Now this is interesting. They take priority over us now mm -hmm. with the new hierarchy of road users rules. You notice there's only one way to go, and it's take the next available right would be the instruction, which is there, obviously. Well, not necessarily obviously, you have to spot it to keep left only, isn't it? No entry sign, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing obvious in driving. So, so here, is 
towards Northampton. Towards Northampton. So yeah. at the roundabout, take the first exit left, then the following now, roundabout. My sat-nav doesn't instruct that very well. No. My sat-nav says cross the roundabout first exit, and then they get confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross the crossed the roundabout straight. quite straight. Yeah. Um, so surely the examiner would. He will pipe in. Yeah. And just over. But well, sometimes that can cause problems in itself. Yeah. If someone's listing and too much information going on. Okay. Now the one thing you've got to watch out for here, we come rinsing around too quickly, is high sided high vehicles will be in the middle of that road if they come through there because of the yeah. height of the bridge. Now the route that comes this way now is take the next left please. Sigh of relief for anyone that was anticipating the right turn at the top. <laughs> <laughs> and long here, you're taking down here to pull over on the left hand side. Yeah, you want uh, me to do that? Should we do it? Yeah. Pull it on the left hand side if, before the white car, give yourself a car space and don't worry about the curb, drop curb on this occasion. That sounded quite realistic, didn't it? I did. But do worry about the dropped curb if you're about to do a parallel park. Yeah. Because. Yeah. You're not going to nudge against it, you're just going to go on it. Exactly. It's a bit mean, I think, when they pull someone yeah. over. On it. I think it's a little bit, I'm not sure. Now, okay, I'm going to ask you to do, one of two things will happen. It's either going to be, can you move off, please? Move yep. on when you're ready, restricted view, move away from around a car. Or, okay, Rebecca, I'm going to ask you to do the reverse parallel park manoeuvre. When you're ready, just draw up alongside that car, then reverse backwards, please, leaving the car, reasonably close to the curb, straighten power, and try and complete the manoeuvre within two car lengths. Mm -hmm. Move on when you're ready. Okay. Am I just moving on? Yeah. We know you can park. <laughs> Thanks. Making sure we get the lifesavers in. As, uh, lifesavers. Yes. The test saver. Or the £62 saver. Okay. This car's parked in a slightly less than. Depends who was there first, I suppose. That's true. Yes. Good spot. Stay there, Mau Mau. <laughs> the cat's called Meow Meow until I know its name. Is it? Mm -hmm. Meow Meow. Chairman. What? Chairman Meow. Nice. He went around today, it's weird. Pull up on the left hand side where it is safe to do so, please. So now here's a really good opportunity for a lovely hill start. What is that noise? What have we got in the boot? Rolling around. Water. Oh, yeah. Bit annoying. Okay, drive yes. on when you're ready. Hill start. So if, uh, now we would have covered the um, angled start. May have done. No, we have from the behind that parked car, didn't we? Yes. That white car. Yeah. Incline start. Yeah. You'd still, you're still doing incline start if you've done a yeah. parallel park as well, though. That'd be one. Yeah. Because there's no cars around, you don't need that. No. Exactly. But if you are, it's probably best just to stick it on if you're learning. It just says one less thing to think about. Yeah. Um, as a general, unless it causes confusion. Okay, end of our turn right, and then you might be asked to pull over on the left-hand side here for the control stop. Oh, yeah. This is the way they do. So pull over left-hand side if it's safe to do so, please. Will be the instruction back there. So you probably pull over there. You don't need to. But we pull over there and they go through, explain what they're going to do with the control stop, emergency stop. Done it. Excellent. Won't ask you to do that again. End of the road, turning right. So. You know you said you don't have to do that right turn into Gypsy Lane, you've yeah. got to do this one instead, mm. which I think is more challenging. Yeah. Because at least the right into Gypsy Lane's got a slip road, you're only crossing one path of car. Now look what you've got to do here, you've got a hill start. And a very busy road. Mm. So the thing is, not to panic, let the gap come to you and don't try and force a gap that isn't there. So there's a lot of traffic. What did we wait there? 20 seconds? Yeah. <sighs> Nothing, is it? 
feels like an eternity, unless you've got cars peeling on the yeah. line. And especially if you miss one, take the next left, please. Now, personally, I think I, prefer, I think it's easier coming that from that way into Gypsy Lane rather than this yeah. way. Absolutely, I should make them all do that and then they'll appreciate yeah. when they get that one. So another opportunity of being asked to pull over on the right hand side of the road. Yeah. And if you're on the sat nav route, you'll be asked to pull over further down the road. That's the end of the independent section. Uh, thank you, that's the end of the independent section. I will give you directions from now on. Will be the yeah. instruction. Speeding down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's normally a speed camera van yeah. at least one, no, well, once a week, once a fortnight, there. isn't there? Down here, just sat down here, plucking yeah. everyone off, coming around the corner. Because it's, it's like that road we had in Burton Latham, it feels like a country lane. Yeah. But opposite it built up, and there's, there's the street lights. No 30 it is. At the end of the road, turn left. And this one can be tricky. Oh, well, can't take coming up here. It's another very busy. Mm. So you've got to be quite committed and confident that you're mm. moving off on this test route, as you, well, quite frankly, should be anyway. So it's interesting, you're just holding back there, aren't you? Which is yeah, a good that's idea. Yeah, I'm going to block my view otherwise. Yeah. That was a very good idea there, just holding it back. And the reason you did it, because you looked early, you made the decision that your better observations are slightly back from the Because I think I, he could be there longer than I, I Absolutely. Really need to be. Absolutely. But he's yeah. got two lengths to get across. You've only got yeah. one, so chances are he will be there longer. At the roundabout, take the first exit left, please. I've got my cash in number void for. Cash in number four <laughs> voice on, haven't I? I just realised what I was doing there. <laughs> I got my examiner the voice. Did I do that? No. I did do that. That tapping's not annoying, is it? <laughs> it will be in a minute. Mm. for quite a while. Okay. So what I've done there is the extent I've dropped you a hint and get a move on. Now what do you notice about this slip road? Looking at the signage. It's my lane. It's not a slip road. It's an adjoining lane. So no signal here, just following the road straight down. And we're gonna go for quite a while means you're gonna go for two junctions. shown there quite frankly you've shown they're not going to sit behind the car you've made progress yeah. the opportunity of driving this dual carriageway showing that yeah I'm a progressive driver that is safe and uh, back to the test centre we go that is it Sense could prevail at 
this point, you know that they've just all moved out of lane one because they don't want this lane. Yeah. So is it safe to pass? I think it is, but yeah. I'm going to wait until... Officially, it's officially. no longer dual carriage yeah. race. Now a separate road called the A509. Green cat size, little lines, separate road. If you want to, you can pass on the left hand side at this point. Just be cautious that people can change their mind, yes. of course. And I always keep my eye on those lanes you can keep whizzing down. And cutting in the last minute, minute as well. Yeah. So all round observation is absolutely fine, as it should be all the time. Next left, please. Take the second exit, follow the road ahead of the roundabout. Shall we do something sneaky? What's that? Look down there, all the traffic is piled up to go to Tesco's. Okay. We're gonna take the second exit, which is normally the left lane. Come across to the right hand lane. We're gonna okay. shotgun we're gonna shotgun it. Slingshot. Slingshot. You're a shotgun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slingshot it. No, you're thinking. No, this is probably I know it's just gonna work out and I've well gone and done. But this is quite a legitimate thing that you can do. It. But all the traffic's piled up. He's has he gone? Good. Everything's yeah. piled up in there. So what we're going to do? It's actually safe. It's good actually. It. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Signals observed. Came across. Why not? Might not suggest you do that for your no. driving <laughs> test. But at the end of the day, we are teaching people to be. If it was what safe. are we teaching? Are we teaching to do that or not? I don't know. It's safe. Was it safe? Did we make absolutely... progress? Yes, we did. Yeah. I'd argue. If you disagree with us, <laughs> leave a comment. Yeah. <laughs> Something to get you talking. Yeah. We love a good what, conversation. What, did, what we just did there, was that okay? I didn't do anything unsafe, in my opinion. Or did she? I'm not saying one way or the other. I've been keeping, okay. keeping it like this. Okay. So there we go. Back to a runway. Ran back to the test centre. Uh, throw in another, pulling in and moving off somewhere. Jobs are good, am